Hey everybody, welcome back to Comic Crow. And uh, again, we have more news because like I said, it's not going to stop. So London police are looking into a number of sexual allegations against Russell Brand. The allegations against the comedian are all non-recent, London's Metropolitan Police said. So we'll dive into this article. Specifically, they opened the investigation after the report by the Times and Channel 4 News, okay? So they opened an investigation into Russell Brand specifically after a news article came out in which they had no evidence and no named accusers. And, and, and the reason why this is important is because the only allegation against Russell Brand in that article was in the UK and it had no evidence behind anything it was claiming. So, yeah, when people are saying, it seems like it's all coordinated, holy fuck, yes, it does. However, after that article, more women, or at least more anonymous accusers, started putting forward stories. And they do have one claim that I, I, I think it's funny, which has been referenced, that is 20 years old old 20 years old okay guys so do me a favor please subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed drop a like on the video and please share the video share the video go on to twitter or x or whatever you want to call it hashtag i stand with brand and, and share the damn video keep talking about it because like i said it is going to get worse it will not surprise me at all if we have some type of charge levied against Brand by the police in the UK in which they have literally no evidence behind it because it's going to go there. It's going to go there. It's going to get bad. British police confirmed Monday they are looking into a number of allegations of sexual offenses against controversial comedian Russell... Controversial, yeah, of course. Russell Brand, both in London and in the rest of the country. Which is a little weird to me because I don't understand how the London Metropolitan Police would be looking into Russell Brand in other parts of the country where they have their own police force. But uh, again, this is where we're going. It's not going to stop. It's going to get worse. In an announcement, London's Metropolitan Police said it began the probe after a joint investigation from the Times of London, the Sunday Times, and Channel 4 dispatches, in which four women accused Russell Brand of sexual assault or rape, although they never actually say the term rape because they probably want to avoid a defamation lawsuit. A fifth woman also accused him of flashing his genitals at her. Here's, here's the problem with this. Only one of these takes place in the UK. I, I Maybe the fifth woman does. But the, the fifth woman's accusation of him flashing her is because she walks into his dressing room where he is naked, in his dressing room where people change their clothes, in his dressing room where she walks into. So uh, just <laughs> just this is why I, this is why when people are saying, hey, this seems like a coordinated attack, the London Metropolitan Police opened an investigation into Russell Brand based on an article in which they were given no evidence and had no named accusers, and only one of which actually takes place in the UK. Following an investigation by Channel 4's dispatches in the Sunday Times, the Met has received a number of allegations of sexual offenses in London. The Metropolitan Police said, We have also received a number of allegations of sexual offenses committed elsewhere in the country and will investigate these. The allegations are all non-recent, the statement said. Metropol the Metropolitan Police did not divulge any new details about the allegations. Before the announcement, the Metropolitan Police said it had received a report from one woman of a sexual assault which was alleged to have taken place in Soho in central London in 2003. Now listen, I will be clear because I want to be fair with everybody. The police not giving us details about investigation, that that so far would make sense. The, the police are never going to come forward and say, hey, these this is all the evidence we have, right? The police aren't going to deal with that. The, the media should do that when they're putting forward accusations from anonymous accusers and after a four-year investigation had literally nothing. So... The, the police announcing investigation and then saying, hey, we're, we're not going to show you what we've got so far. That makes sense to me. My thing is they've, they've told us that they're all non-recent, meaning you have a claim 
from 20 plus years ago. I, I really, I, I, I mean, you have to have something to back these up. You have to have something to back these up. But it's not going to surprise me if they have nothing. They just announce they're investigating him. They, they keep putting it into the press for the next couple of weeks, and then either it quietly goes away because the damage has been done, or they bring some type of frivolous charge against him just to keep putting fuel on the fire. I, either way, either way would be feasible to me, right? Because either way damages Russell Brand. Either, either path they go damages Russell Brand. But the fact of the matter is, the fact that the investigation was opened up into him after the article came out, based on the article, is 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 kind of fucking nuts to me. Brand 48 has rejected all the claims, saying in a video statement that his relationship were always consensual. The investigation is being led by detectives from Met Central Specialist Crime Command, which is led by a detective superintendent, Andy Furphy. <laughs> Andy Furphy. Okay. Uh, we continue to encourage anyone who believes they may have been a victim of sexual offense, no matter how long ago it was, to contact us, Furphy said in the Met statement. We understand it can feel like a difficult step to take, and I want to reassure we have a team of specialist officers available to advise and support. So you, you, you take a figure like Russell Brand, you tell everyone, hey, come forward. It doesn't matter how long ago it was. I imagine they're going to say, we've had over 30 women, right? A ridiculously high number. They'll announce that statement. And of course, you know, because they're, they're cops investigating, they're not going to tell us what evidence they actually have. They'll just tell us this ridiculously high number. And either it's going to quietly go away or they'll announce a frivolous charge against him. Because, and by frivolous, I mean they're going to announce a charge against him with no evidence because you're telling people you don't care how long ago it was. So they're not going to have anything to provide to you. But telling telling the public and telling the press we have you know 30 plus women 50 plus women doesn't matter right it's going to look bad for russell brand because the headlines will look bad and that's all that matters senior british politicians have been urging police to investigate the allegations oh really well the uk entertainment industry has faced questions about whether brand's bad behavior went unchallenged because of his fame wait wait so senior british politicians push the police holy fuck okay so it is coordinated oh god it is coordinated Senior British politicians are pushing the police to investigate Russell Brand. Well, there you go, everybody. There you go. It is a conspiracy against Russell Brand. There you have it. Do not stop talking about this because it is only going to get worse. Yeah, holy shit, nine days ago. So this is only a, this is only a few days after the article came out. The, the, the politicians were already pushing for them to investigate Russell Brand, while at the same time, the politicians were reaching out to platforms asking about the monetization. Okay, so that makes sense in, 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 the, in the reality that you have the Online Safety Act, which is about to pass. So what they're going to do is try to get the police to announce some type of charge, and then they'll use that in order to go after Rumble or any other platform that doesn't demonetize monetize Russell Brand. Fuck guys, it is a conspiracy theory. It's not even a theory. It's 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 right in your face. It's just a pure conspiracy against Russell Brand. Well guys, you let me know what you think in the comments section. This is getting wild and it is only going to get worse. This is fucking nuts.